Hey everybody, Jake with Myers Flies. Today I'm going to tie one of my Golden Stone flies for you as you saw on the cover picture. Uh, sometimes I do these in a lot of different styles uh, with the legs and things of that nature. Uh, and I tie them on anything from a 12. This is a Daiichi 1260 size 12 and I'll do them, you know, 12s, 10s, 8s. Uh, Anyhow, makes a good, makes a good, uh, you know, size fly. This little twelve. Uh, so what I've got here is a, uh, a fire hole, uh, three millimeter copper tungsten bead. I'm just going to wrap this back. I go back to about where the hook barb is, and then I just build up a little thread ball. And building up that thread ball is going to allow my Bites to spread out a little bit. You gotta watch you don't get that ball too too big, or they won't spread. Just a little, just a little bump there in the thread. So then, and when you put your bites on, you see the bites curve. And so, when I hold that by it up, you'll see it. You'll see it curve. Okay, so I put the curve going away from the hook. And so I'll show you this once I get it on there. See that? So when you put that on, it actually it naturally goes away, and then you got that little bump there, which splays it out a little bit more for you. And I just put one on. Then I can throw my other one on, match it up exactly the way I want it. So you'll see that splays out real nice. And then, you know, you can cut these by its off. A lot of times I just kind of wrap them up into the body just for time's sake so then I'm going to use put my ribbing on my ribbing is just a little strand of the DCM uh, thread this stuff is um, man, some great stuff it's, uh, you can get it at any craft store I think Walmart has it uh, a lot of people carry this this kind of stuff, but anyhow, it just makes a really nice color contrast with uh, with this. Now I'm just going to take a brown pheasant tail, and I'm going to pull about five fibers, and so just cut the curly ends off there. And I I kind of cut off the tips. I'll cut it back get into some more of the stiffer fibers and then I always put it there's a there's the color side the outside and then there's the underside of the of the pheasant tail when I tie that in I take the underside and make sure that the underside is up okay and so with the underside being up whenever I go to pull this back up over you know whenever we pull it back over our <clears throat> over our body it uh, it's got the color you know the more colored side up I'm just going to take a little bit of this dubbing which is just a uh, Hairtron golden stone dubbing I don't know if you can see that of course not um, anyhow I'll be in the description in the I'll put a little page up there <clears throat> so that you can see the materials let's start right back here at the back you don't want to make this too thick <clears throat> and again the the body's not you know when you look at a stone fly you know they're they're thorax comes like way back into the abdomen they have a very short abdomen so 
what I usually do is just then pull this up. You're just pulling that up over. Just kind of add some collar to the back. Uh, if you don't want to do this, you can just kind of skip this step and then maybe just take a brown marker. I've done that before. Just take a brown marker on the top and uh, <clears throat> okay now you got your your top there on the abdomen now I'm going to take this and just wrap it just wrap it straight around okay then just pull it back Lock that in. You do a six inch piece of that. I'll just kind of straighten all that up so you can kind of see what's going on here. And by it's are a little long in the back, but I don't know that the fish are like looking. Now <clears throat> I'm gonna take another piece of this little pheasant tail and I'm gonna take about ten or twelve strands and then do the same thing snip those gnarly curlies off the back now if I was going to put this in sometimes I'll do you saw in the picture where I'll use I'll use the pheasant tail so what I'll do is I'll let them stick out just a just a little bit tie this in right here and then what you can actually do is tie it in like this and then go back with your dubbing and then you're going to pull these back you know just splay them back and that's your that's your legs so i just you know depends on what mood i'm in so today i'm going to do these little just like the little biots they're just quick and easy i mean it doesn't i mean like i said this is this is pretty quick too you know doing those like that. So I just kind of pull it up. I want to make sure that my my thorax, my abdomen are about the the size, you know, that I that I'm looking for. And then take some more of your dubbing. This is just a collar combination that I found works really well. Uh, and then that little rib, you know, I, I like that rib with that DCM thread just really pops you know on there you could use uh, you know like like wire you know you could just use like a wire rib use like yellow wire rib something like that I got a lot of that DCM thread because I use it a lot for like midges and stuff like that so now what I'm gonna do is just on the very top is I'm going to let this extend extend back okay to about where this you'll see it's it's almost in line there with with the hook point right here so that's about where I let those let those splay back to and then just kind of come in and just lightly put like one wrap on it you can kind of situate it there and then I'll grab another do the same thing and I'll show you this here in just a second as soon as I get these tied in so you can kind of see a little bit better see that as I'll just tie them in crossways like that you know this one comes this way the other one goes the other way just tied it right behind the bead and it goes right to about where the hook point is and then I kind of lift those up give me like a wrap right underneath of them then you can kind of pull those up and just snip them. Get my big fat Ninja Turtle hands in the way. Okay, then you can take your, your wing case here. And just pull those fibers back over top. Kind of put one there. One underneath. Pull it up. And you're ready to whip finish.
this is just a quick golden stone that works really well for me I like it and then I'll just use a uh, use a little bit of the UV bone dry just take a little dab up on there It'll soak down into them threads real nice pull the UV down hit that and you're about done I just take a little piece of velcro just kind of pick out that bottom you catch one fish and gets that in its mouth it'll pick it out for you but you know just make it look gnarly so anyhow that's a uh, that's one of the versions of the uh, the golden stone that I do with those color combinations so give it a try and uh, you know play around with it and uh, check out our website at myersflies.com and uh, you know also check out our Instagram and Facebook page uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like that uh, we appreciate all your support stop down at the fly shop there in Dallas town uh, and uh, you know let us know if we can uh, help you out with anything get out there and enjoy God's great creation and uh, you know take a young person fish and take them out in the outdoors and introduce them uh, to the outdoors and get them uh, cleaning stuff up take a little trash bag with you and just let them let them know uh, that it's their responsibility uh, to keep things cleaned up and that way we can train the next generation to take care of those wonderful resources that we enjoy uh, so much so hey guys thanks for watching